Koizumi san. Oh, Miyamoto san. What brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. Oh, of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. Miyamoto still looks good at his age. Like he still has the looks after all these years. I want to know how that's possible. We've previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination and its CEO and producer Chris Melodandri san, who are known for movies like Despicable Me and Sing, in making a full length animated Mario movie for the big screen. If this is being made by the Despicable Me director, then what is it gonna look like? Is it gonna have amazing graphics or low budget graphics? It's probably gonna have the amazing graphics because this needs to be the highest quality Nintendo movie. Today, I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. Ta da! The movie will be released in theaters in holiday 2022. So, next year, huh? Maybe they aren't done with the movie. Which doesn't surprise me considering they have been working on it for a while now. And once it's finished, it might be a visual masterpiece. We need a trailer though. The release date for North America is on December 21st and we'll be announcing release dates for Japan, Europe, and other regions at a later time. It'll be a while longer until we can share a glimpse of Mario in action on the big screen. But today, I also wanted to reveal our key cast members who will be voicing Mario and his friends in the movie. First, of course, is Mario, who will be played by Chris Pratt. Are you kidding me? F Chris Pratt? I mean, I like him as an actor, but him as Mario feels so wrong. I bet he can't even pull off an Italian accent. I mean, Charles Martinet is right there if you need a Mario actor. But you had to stick with the guy that doesn't have a single clue as to how to do Mario's voice. It doesn't make sense. He's so cool. Mario will be talking a lot in the movie. Oh great, now I'll be hearing more of his awful attempt to come up with an Italian accent. Makes sense though, he is the protagonist. But I think you got the wrong guy to voice him. Good luck trying to figure out how the fuck to voice him because you're gonna need it. Please look forward to Mario as performed by the very talented Chris Sun. I probably won't because his voice for Mario will suck monkey balls. Maybe he'll study the Italian accent or else he's gonna look like a fing idiot. Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Taylor Joy. That actually makes sense. I can't wait to see a very spirited Princess Peach. Mario's little brother, Luigi, will be played by Charlie Day. Okay, now that was a cool choice. I bet he's gonna nail this role perfectly. And I bet he knows how to pull off an Italian accent unlike Chris Pratt. I'm excited for you to see this timid sibling appear on screen. Bowser will be played by the one and only Jack Black. Oh hell yeah, he's gonna do an amazing job as Bowser. The role suits him well and he was the highlight in bad movies so maybe he'll save this movie. I have hope about it. I'm expecting a monster performance by Jackson. The comedian Keegan-Michael Key will be playing Toad. I can already tell that this will be hilarious. And if he actually pulls off a Toad impression, that would be the best part of the movie. It's also hilarious how Toad is the comedic relief in this movie. I'll be cracking up at the theater because of the performance alone. I'm looking forward to great comedic moments. Even though this is a Mario movie, Donkey Kong will also be making an appearance. He will be played by Seth Rogen. Seth Rogen in a kid's movie? That's interesting. But knowing what his laugh sounds like, you should have gotten Dwayne Johnson for the role because Donkey Kong will sound drunk whenever he has dialogue. But maybe they want the performance to be more cringeworthy? I don't know. I'm eager for you to see a humorous Donkey Kong by Seth Sun. And of course, Charles Martinet, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved and will be appearing in surprise cameos in the movie. Why couldn't he be Mario instead of Chris Pratt? He would do a better job at it. But maybe Wario and Waluigi are in this movie and he'll be voicing those characters. If that's the case, then I wonder how often Charles will be in this movie.
We also have more incredible talent joining the film to play some of our other beloved characters. Missed opportunity for Danny DeVito to play Cranky Kong. It would have been a perfect role for him. But Spike, from Wrecking Crew, no way that he's in this movie. That is all I can share with you today about the Mario movie. This is a very collaborative project between Illumination and Nintendo. We've all been coming up with all sorts of ideas, and I myself am enjoying a creative process that is a little bit different from making games. It would be a great way to expand the company. I mean, you already have playing cards, now you need an anime, officially licensed masks, officially licensed bed sheets, officially licensed backpacks and officially licensed toy cars. For any game that you guys have made, you can make all of this possible. It may be a while until we can share more updates, but I hope you'll look forward to it. Koizumi-san, back to you! Please look forward to Mario's adventure jumping into the world of motion pictures. This movie sounds promising though. I'll keep my eye out for it as I am interested in this movie. Hopefully it's not a disappointment. Next, we'd like to show you this.